Hey guys, how you doing? Ellen Pierre Van F4 here. Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be, as you can see, a Megazord review. So as you can see here, I have the Time Force Megazord. I will be reviewing it. Of course, I won't be keeping it like this here, but guys, get stuck on the intro, and then we will get stuck on the review. Right guys, so let's get this into sword mode first. So here we have the Time Flyers, which is the name for the swords and in their individual modes. Then Time Force, as you know, they would be sent from the future. Every time they need them, they would be this big massive like runway thing, this yellow robot would fire them into a time portal. So these are the Time Flyers. This is the light, or light speed, honest to goodness. This is the Time Force Megazord. I've never had this before, of course you've seen it on camera because I unboxed it yesterday, so I'm finally getting around to doing a review on it. I don't do too many Megazord reviews these days because I obviously don't get very many Megazords because at the minute I'm really into the Lightning Collection. But lucky enough, I found time to, uh, I got enough money for my birthday and I ended up getting the Time Force Megazord. So guys, obviously this is the Red Time Flyer, the Pink Time Flyer, the Yellow Time Flyer, the Blue Time Flyer and the Green Time Flyer. So what you can do is... Um, I'll just go over them individually quickly just show you them and show you their functions and then I'll put them into uh, jet mode So here we have the red time fire which is where is the sword so let's give you a close up of it and you open this, you can open this cockpit you do you do get wee figures but obviously I didn't get the wee figures obviously uh, they get lost obviously you know with kids and toys then you close that and then of course this bit here is important uh, usually you find this toy like this with this bit missing but you just clip this on here it just clips on there so that is the red that is the red time flyer of course it has nice wheels three wheels and it looks pretty cool right I'll do green and blue and yellow and pink in the same bit because they're pretty much the same so as you can see the only difference is this is blue so of course you want to cockpit of course this blue seat of course these these uh these fold out of course you do that later on for the transformation and you have and it has nice wheels a wheel there and wheels there so that's nice and then this one is slightly different it has uh, two wings instead of one of course again that's for the transformation there's a good bit of die cast on this, so there is. I love getting new Megazords, I really do. I can just transform them for ages. And of course it has the same wheels, it's pretty much, they are pretty much the same. They're pretty much the same mould, it's just the minor differences. And then, then you have yellow and pink time flyers, which are pretty much the same, which is the only difference is this bit at the front, which does remove. But that's later on for you, you, you need that later on for the the Megazord transformation that comes off the same time but we'll do that later I just just show the difference they're pretty much identical they're pretty much identical from the bottom again they, they have wheels again which are nice right so that's the individual swords so I will show you how to put them on the jet mode right so to put it in the jet mode is you take red and you put this wheel in and you flip these wheels over so they're like that and then you do nothing else with them you take the the uh, pink and yellow time flyers you take that off and you take that off they'll be important later and as you can see there's a hole in here the same with that one so the other side and they 
go in here like so let's put that up there and then you just you have to you connect this where you go there, there is nothing complete and then you just simply do this on both sides and then you put the wings in so you fold this back you lift this out and you just simply do that and you just fold that in you do it the same for this so like so and then you have a wee peg here and you have a wee bit here and they just simply there and there and they just go try to do it with the arms on the road There we have the um, there we have jet mode, which is what happened is whenever they go through the portal and they come in to the twenty first century and one, they would come in separately, and then on their way they would combine. Which I really like, guess I must say it's very reminiscent of a spaceship. Remember, sort of reminds me of the uh, Delta Megazord, so it does, in uh, Zord mode, really does. But it's pretty cool. But what you can do is you can you can take these bits and. And they simply just come together like this. And um, at the bottom, you have two wee blue grooves, and they just clip right. You take. Oh, yes, that's right. You take these two bits here, and they'll go on here. They clip on there, and then this bit just clips on there, and then that becomes a stand. Now you don't have to use this, it's not screen accurate, they never actually did this in the show. This just went away, and of course the, the uh, jet mode just uh, flew about until it was time for the Megazord. So. so, there you go. It's just a wee stand really for the toy purposes, but then you just take that off again. There we go. So, when Time Force Megas words, you know, I was never really fussed on them. You know, I just thought, you know, it was really the first time that, you know, way sometimes that the Megas words were animals or cars or spaceships and they all look different. I always thought that the Time Force Megas words were a bit plain or a bit just, you know, and whenever they came together, they just looked like, you know, didn't look as if they were like a, like a multicolored Megas word, but. Since I've got it and watched it over the years, it's grown on me, so then I decided I wanted it, because originally I wasn't going to get the Time Force Megazords, but they're here, and I have to say I like them. The only complaint about them is they're very small. Like, like if you compare it, whenever I, whenever I, um, whenever I uh, transform it, I will compare it to um, the Dino Megazord, you'll see what I'm talking about, they're very small. I mean, yes, I know the light speed rail. I know the light speed Megazord's small, but it's small because you have to put the vehicles into uh, the Super Train Megazord. But right, that's that's just my opinion on the Megazord. See, see, see whenever you have your opinions off, and then just try it because see, if you don't try it, you, you you never know if you're gonna like it or not. So I do like this. I absolutely love it in jet mode. Also, I absolutely do love it in jet mode. So cool. And then of course, as you say, you get the wee figures, and they just.
Right. So for Megazor mode, you just and you just put them on. Right. And then you yep, just put them to the side. And you take the red, you take the red first, and you take this off because that's gonna become that's gonna form the shield. So you take this wee bit here and you take it off a wee bit and then you twist it around and you clip it in. So I'll just do that again. I clip something like that. So that is red. That is red, ready for wizard mode. So I'll do the feet first so I can stand it. So of course, like any other normal leg for Megazord, just a standard. That one's a wee bit stiff. Then, of course, you do this. Then you just now make sure it's red on that side and not blue because this is red mode. And no way you have to flip these forward, you have to flip those forward so that's there. And you just go like that. And you just go like that. Then you flip down that. Just do this up close so you can see what I'm doing. Of course, you need to just get your nail and just. And then there's two wee things at the back. And you just pull them. That hardly very good me and my hand road. You just do that there so it reveals the head. Like so. There we go. Ta the Time Force Megazord Mode Red. I do, I like it. I think it's a very good Megazord. And to form the shield, you slip those apart just for a minute. You take what was the back of the red sword and you do that. Now, I had to pay £15 for this. I know why you normally don't pay that amount of money for a one piece, but for the Time Force Megazord, I felt I had to, for, to be, for it to complete. But you see, when you're a toy collector, you have to, because it got sometimes. So you just, you, you just stick this up here, like that. And there's two wee things, and they just go like that. There we go. And you just go like that. I had to because at the end of the day it was it's part of this sword and it's part of the shield. Without this bit here, you just have nothing. So there's the shield. And of course, guys, the Megazord Saber, which is awesome. You know me guys, I've heard my, I told you my rule before is no sword, I don't buy it. Because I always believe a Megazord should always come as a weapon. And there we go. The sword and the shield. And of course the gimmick of the sword was that I would attack and then it would freeze the monster in time and then the, the things would go, go, go down and it would go a big clock would show it and it would, it would go it would go tick, 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 pew, and, and then and then it would go down into like uh it would go down, down to the wee toy for form where they would put it into the a wee like plastic thing and put it into a freezer. So that is red mode. So but the good thing about this Megazord is it has a different mode. It was very unique for the time. Uh, for And I never really believed that that blue mode and red mode was the same thing. So it is. So basically to transform it is you take the take the sword away and you take the uh, the shield away. You'll not need them. It's actually very clever. It's really, really clever. So it is. It's really clever. So we just put the head away. And you take the arms out. And what was that? Something just fell on me, guys. I wonder what it was. Well, I'll fix it later, whatever it was. Right. So, basically, what you do is you basically fold this back in and you 
put that back in the car and then you do that and then this lifts out to reveal a fist and you just simply just turn that round put it there and you do that and then of course this one works the same way you just there you go that's the arms ready now for the legs can be a wee bit complicated but it's really not so it's simply you just and then Make sure it's the front of it and you turn it around so it's showing more blue. Do the same with this. And there we go, there's the legs for mode blue. And the only thing you need to do with this is you just need to change this. So you put it out, you turn it, cover the glad. So you have it back to the way it was in Megazord mode, but stand like this, and you simply just it gives it legs like so, and it just goes like that, like that. And you can see that the length of the arms is huge. And then you just go like that. Exposing the face. That's mode blue. And you can switch between the two. So cool. And then I will just quickly transform it into mode red again. Because I've went and done something. Which, you, which if you guys see my last video you'll know what it is. Because I've done a really clever thing on it where I switched the... I don't know if you in the video, clever to show you what I did, so. Just to fold it back in again, you just simply, let's see, I'm going to mill it up somewhere. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Right, Mark, you're going too fast. So I was going too fast there. There we go. You need to make sure that bit there is so it can, it can collapse in. Then you have the arms again. And you just simply go. Right. And you just hide that back in there. There we go. There's red mode again. Let's put the sword back in his hand. And the shield back in his hand. So what I have done is if you have if you have extra money guys and as you know I just spend my mega swords all my big units here I just play it with all my lightning figures. So 
what I went and done, if you hit, and I don't be doing this, if you hang, you can't afford it, but if you can afford it, pick up another Time Force Mega Sword so you can do this. So you can have mode air, so you can have mode red and mode blue beside each other. Which looks looks fantastic on a shelf with your Time Force uh, Rangers. So, yeah. Women's sword. Alright. Well, that's what I've done, guys. So I have, and of course, you can also have them displayed in sword mode and have this displayed in regular sword mode. So you can have a lot of fun with this. So I recommend buying. Uh, two versions of the Time Force Mega Sword, so you can do this here. So it's good for if you can't afford it, don't. But if you can't afford it, and uh, wait, well, see, I'll show what I mean. But because right? it's a seven, it's a similar size to the, and that can be very loose, guys. So just be careful. So I can, you can all. Oh, it's um, it's a similar size to the Light Speed Mega Sword. So it is, but I will show you in comparison with the. The Dino Megazord, they are quite small. I don't know why, really, just... That's just not as big as what I'm used to. But it's still nice to have them, and it's lovely to have them. I, mean, I always love Megazords, I always will. As you know, guys, the Megazords are my main, are my main interest with the Power Rangers toy line. So I'll just put my speed over here, and I'll bring in the Dino Megazord. Two seconds, guys. See what I mean? Dino Megazord's massive in comparison. It's like really like that much taller. It's mad. Well, guys, that's going to conclude this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. You are made very welcome. And um, please subscribe. And if you and if you and if you're coming back again to watch the videos, you I really really thank you so much for coming back, guys. I appreciate the support. So like the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. And please subscribe. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to go, uh, and of course the Olympics is on the minute, so I'm going to uh, get stuck into the Olympics a bit more around day four, so I'm really enjoying it. So guys, have a go. Please like, subscribe, and make a comment down below and see what you think. I don't know what's going to be next. I maybe hope to do a Clipter and Astronomer. And uh, now that I have the Time Force Megazord, I can now review my Time Force Red. So I'll just put them in short with with the uh megazords yeah that's all i have time for at the minute i do want to get the i do want to get the curex and i do want to get the, the, the time shadow because the problem with the time shadow is it's finding it complete like there was a couple on ebay for maybe 30 40 quid but it's missing an arm that's not good that, that, that's not good enough for me it has to be complete and the curex i don't know about the curex guys let me know in the comments uh advice on the curex because i know that it's an i know it's an auto changer takes batteries and you need the control you need the morpher so do i spend a lot of money on getting it complete with the morpher with the missiles or do i buy it and complete without the morpher um obviously without the morpher it's obviously useless and you can't transform it so i don't know what to do guys hopefully if i find it complete for a cheap price i will get it but i'm definitely getting the time shadow hopefully christmas time i get more money in you know, from from a family and stuff for Christmas. Hopefully, I'll try and bring in the time shadow, and then I'll be able to combine the time shadow with these two guys here, because because they just combine with them. So, guys, that's all I'm going to bring to you today. Um, again, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, please subscribe, and let me know in the bottom, let me know in the comments what you think. So, guys, I'm going to go, and I will see you guys around. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.